Eden Monaro. It's not just the name of Adam and Eve's first car. It's also an electorate in southern New South Wales. Its actual name is Eden Monero. And by law, you also need to mention that this seat used to be... Classic bellwether seat. In the bellwether seat, the former bellwether seat, and the former bellwether seat. Which raises a very important question. Mm. PK, CP. What is a bellwether? Well, Charlie, bellwether refers to the old farming practice of placing a bell around the neck of a castrated ram or weather to indicate the movement of the rest of the flock. Thanks, PK. In the last year, Eden Monero has been hit by drought, floods, bushfires and a pandemic. And this Saturday, the 4th of July, its citizens have to endure one more inconvenience, a by-election. It was all triggered by the resignation of Labor MP Mike Kelly, who was a giant presence in Eden Monero, much like he was a giant presence in the background of this news report. But this is not just any old by-election. It's a huge test for major party leaders Scott Morrison, Anthony Albanese and Michael McCormack. For Scott Morrison, Eden Monero is not just the electorate right next door to the Big Marino, and just as impressive, the giant balls of the Big Marino. Holden Commodore for scale. It's also the electorate where Scott Morrison made a giant balls up by trying to forcibly shake the hands of bushfire victims. Now Morrison and the Liberal candidate Fiona Cotvoice are looking to put all that behind them with a bold new pitch to the people of Yass. Women from the Yass Valley are currently forced to travel an hour to Canberra or Goulburn to give birth. As a result, a number of women have been forced to give birth on the side of the Barton Highway. Does the Prime Minister agree that that is unacceptable? Well, I'm pleased to let the member know that's why we've committed $150 million to upgrade the Barton Highway. Who needs an epidural when you've got a smooth, fresh stretch of bitumen to give birth on? Meanwhile, Anthony Albanese and Labor candidate Christy McBain know that if they lose, it will be the first time an opposition has lost a seat to the government in a by-election in 100 years. And in a sign of just how confident Albo isn't, he's cooked up a little preference deal. The Shooters Party will preference Labor, will recommend preferences for Labor at this by-election, a major boost to Anthony Albanese's prospects of hanging on to the seat. So the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers have done a deal with the Skiers, Glampers and Truffle Hunters, which could be critical as Shooters candidate Matthew Statmiller has drawn top spot on the ballot paper, which means the donkey vote will eventually flow to Labor. And finally, to the Nationals, where leader Michael McCormick had an awkward start to the campaign when he and potential candidate Deputy New South Wales Premier John Barillaro had a teensy little disagreement. Deputy Premier John Barillaro unleashing an almighty spray at his federal leader over text message. Michael, please do not contact me. Your lack of public support for my candidacy went a long way to my decision. To feel threatened by me clearly shows you have failed your team and failed as a leader. You will never be acknowledged by me as our leader. You aren't. He then screamed, you're not my real dad, and put a keep out sign on the party room door. After this embarrassing incident, Michael McCormack and new candidate Trevor Hicks were keen for any distractions they could find on the campaign trail. By, by any stretch of the imagination, we haven't solved this crisis yet as a, as, a, as, a, uh, as a population. And I'll just wait maybe till that uh, wonderful car. What is it? Kingswood. Souped up Kingswood. HQ. I bet you used to drive a car like that, Trevor. Look at that Kingswood, Trevor. Imagine giving birth in that. And on top of all of this, Eden Monero is Australia's first federal electorate to vote in the coronavirus era, which may tragically mean no sausage sizzles, as well as a few other changes at the polling booth. When queuing at the polling place, maintain social distancing by standing at least 1.5 metres from the person in front of you. We encourage you to bring your own pen or pencil. So this Saturday I'm taking my voting quill, my claw to safely collect how to vote cards, and my homemade 1.5 metre sausage sandwich slash social distancing wand. And I'm off to vote for whoever will create a better world for the children born at the side of the Barton Highway. Oh, one more thing. PK, have you seen the size of the balls on the big merino? I have, Charlie. That ram is definitely not a bellwether. <laughs> Thanks, PK.